Hello students. How are you all? Hope you all are fine. Today we are going to begin with our next topic that is the peacock and the crane. Kindly remove your textbook page number 18. Now children, what do you mean by fable? Fable is a very short story. It teaches a moral or a practical lesson about how to succeed in a life. Now it had been started in the early form of storytelling. Our great grandfathers, grandmothers, great grandmothers, they used to teach us how to live our life, how to succeed in our life. But in the form of what? In the form of stories in which the animals could speak like human beings. It was believed to have been originated in India. Features now an animals, plants, forces of nature with human characteristics. Means what? That as if uh, these animals or birds, they are, they speak. They have feelings like human. We take the help of them and then the story was being explained to us. Story told by word of mouth from generation to generation. These stories or these fables have been passed down from one generation to another by our great ancestor, our great grandparents, our great grandmothers so that we could realize, we can understand how to lead a successful life. So, let's move ahead with the story, The Peacock and the Crane. Can you look at this picture? Who is this? It is a, what is the picture of a peacock? A national bird. See how beautiful the peacock is. If you look at this picture, this is crane. Pale light in color, this is crane. So, the characters in our story are the peacock and the crane. The peacock and the crane through the character of a proud peacock, it conveys the moral that fine feathers don't make fine birds. Now what do you mean by that? That means our external appearance has no value if we lack beauty and strength within. In this story, the peacock boasted of having the most gorgeous tail which shine in all the colors of rainbow. But that too has its own limitations. The crane possessed colorless and dull feathers but he was not affected by the peacock's display of its colorful tail. He was fully aware of its inner potential and what he was capable of, unlike the peacock, he could fly high above among the clouds and stars and witness the beauty of the earth in all its splendor. Aware of his blessings, he could happily take the peacock's criticisms in his stride. So let's see how the story moves. And what do we understand from this story? There was once a very conceited peacock, very, very proud, very, very arrogant, who had a gorgeous tail like no other bird. Gorgeous means beautiful, magnificent, stunning. The peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless 
cough means what? The peacock started laughing at uh, very rudely on the crane's cough at the crane's colorless and dull feathers and immediately spread his own colorful tail for the crane to see and admire. He wanted that the crane should see how beautiful I am and he should admire me. So he told him, look at my feathers, he boasted. Now he was trying to show off that see how beautiful my feathers are. While yours are so pale, I am dressed like a king. So he's telling, can you see how do I look? How I am dressed as if I am a king. That's true. The crane answered, but I can fly high above among the clouds and the stars and I can see all the beauty of the earth, earth and its glory. Now what do you mean by glory? That means the beauty of the earth and the splendor of the earth while you live down here just like any other bird. So when the peacock tried to show off that look how beautiful I am and look how dull and pale you are. That means pale means how uh, you do are not as bright as I look. So the answer given, given by the crane in Britain was that see though you are very beautiful agreed but what I can enjoy is you are not able to enjoy because you stay like a common bird but I can fly high and I can see the beauty and the splendor of the earth. So instead of being pompous that means exhibiting or showing off that how important I am, exhibiting the self-importance. God has created everyone in a unique manner. So, so never to behave very rudely or harshly with others. And let us remember to develop our self-esteem and self-confidence by understanding that it is not how we look but what are we capable of which makes all the difference. So how nicely and how how with the beautiful answer he tried to explain to him that the looks are not as important as he thinks but the quality given by the God to everyone that is the most important. So in the end he concludes that fine feathers don't make fine birds. This statement explains that uh, that never to take anything in a negative sense but to indicate that looks though they are uh, important but they are not so important after all because it is the other things that is it is the other qualities the other capabilities which makes a, a person or a bird unique in its own way so never ever criticize anybody and you have to build your self esteem and your self confidence because after all the looks doesn't matter at all. It is purely your qualities that will matter a lot in your life. So it's a really very very interesting story by the help of the peacock and the crane. The author is trying to explain us that we as an individual may have extremely beautiful appearance but if we don't have a heart to reach out and make a difference 
in the life of others how can we call ourselves beautiful so inner beauty too is very very important instead of the external beauty so children what do you learn from the fable yes we learn from the fable that the physical appearance has a very little significance as compared to our capacities our capabilities our abilities and our inner strength hope you all have understood the story very well and always remember in your life that our external appearance our physical appearance play a very might have a very little significance but as compared to our capabilities our abilities our strength we should always think that the looks do not play such a important role thank you children god bless you all